Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we are going to be doing a back to school makeup look. I have done a few in the past which I will link in the info box if you guys want to check those out. But today we're going to be doing a realistic AF makeup look, my my hair. But when I was at uni, most of the time I did not have time to be putting a whole full face of makeup. Like I just didn't have the time and I couldn't be asked. Like, let's just be real now, okay? So we have to do our post notification shout out and today's one goes to Jessna Seeperson. So thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you have done so. And you can just comment anything if you want either. I choose either. It could be anyone. I'm just going to... I've literally just woken up, so I guess this is... This can be very accurate. Oh, I'm so tired. You know, I've got that type of hair. It's like when you brush it, it don't look like it's brushed. I've actually brushed my hair. What is it doing? Okay, so I've already moisturized my skin. Um, Just use any moisturizer you feel comfortable with and works really good for your skin. Then I like to start off with brows. So I like to use the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and I use the shade Blackest Brown. This is really affordable and it's really, really good because it's so precise so it really imitates those brow hairs. This one right here, I really love this brow pencil. So I think when you go to school, you want three things for sure. Actually no, four, four things. You want your brows, something for your brows. Mascara, concealer and bronzer that's what you need if you want to get powder get some powder because it does help you know and i'm also using everything affordable because we on a budget chi chi can you stop meowing hey The brows are done, then I'm going to use some of my concealer. I literally, I'm just grabbing stuff out of my makeup bag. I have a lot of affordable stuff in here. For quick natural concealer, I really like to use the Fast Base Concealer in C12 um, by Makeup Revolution. This is just super natural and it's just, it's just convenient, guys. Gets the job done. Oh yeah, and I'm using my Morphe Beauty Blender. It's a bit more affordable and works good but it's not as good as the beauty blender because the beauty blender especially the black one is really like soft and you no know, works really well i'm gonna put a little bit on the center the bridge of my nose i also just like to put a bit more concealer just in the inner corners to be honest like the um, shadow of my lids kind of look like shadow when i just put concealer under my eyes i used to i also really do like to take um a c13 and the same concealer and just quickly like cream like con not contour but just add some cream color to the skin and i feel like this um adds a little bit of glow too and i use a stippling brush i'm using a real techniques one this is again affordable and then just brush that out And it actually gives this really nice softness to the skin as well. I do like to put some colour around my nose because then it just looks really flat and I don't like that. I mean, you see it kind of gives like a, a, a very natural like dewiness to the skin and I really really like that especially on my natural days. My favourite mascara at the moment is these Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. Like it's so good especially if you have a lash lift because it just combs through every single lashes and I just need that because... Sometimes when you get a lash lift, the lashes kind of, kind of like intertwine with each other. And this just really combs through every single lash. And it really does lift, but also adds volume. I always put some up on my lower lashes as well. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm going to take some of my NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan. And I'm just going to... Add some bronzer. I 
If you want a nice affordable bronzer, then definitely try out the NYX one. NYX ones are so, so good. All right, and then for lips, finally, I just put this Labello. This is a French brand. Well, I can think you can only get it in France, but if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it down below. But it's just a really affordable um, lip balm, and it's like one of the best because it doesn't just sit there. It kind of like absorbs in. Um, another good one that I've tried is the Hourglass one, which is so nice and very luxurious. But obviously, this is a back to school makeup, and I know, don't worry, we're on a budget here, okay? But this one is really good. And it's just so hydrating. I honestly definitely recommend this. All right, so this is the final look. It's very, very simple. What you can also do is take some of the mascara, like just wipe off any excess and just lightly brush it through your brows. Just on the tip here. Just to keep them brow hairs in place. And also, if you don't feel too comfortable just wearing concealer, you can wear the LA Girl BB Cream. It's something that I definitely recommend. It's so affordable, it's so natural, and they have okay an okay shade range, but it's just a, such a nice product. Like, definitely trust me, it's so good. And another thing that I've been loving is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation, which I'll also link in the info box. I use the Caramel Beige one, and they are available on Amazon. This is so good and natural and it's just beautiful. So yeah, just in case you guys don't just want to wear concealer alone. I hope you found this video helpful and I'm going to try and have a um, back to school clothing haul up for you guys soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you.